All right. Bye. Thanks. Oh, shit. Well, we're going back to the train. All right. Simple enough. What was that? Gotcha, boss. My woman's in trouble. What the hell? What is that noise? Somebody getting electrocuted up there. All right. Let's get back. Oh, there it is. Holy shit. I'm gonna try to not fight as much as possible. Just keep moving. What is that? Is this stalker-ish? Stalker-esque game? Holy shit. What? Is that thing coming for me or what? I'm a little bit scared. Yes, that was a one shot too. That's awesome. I know we're not going to fuck with them them crawdad things. Go, go, go. Yes, we made it. <laughs> Got my heart thumping? Is that because I'm running or what? Control your breaths, boy. No, I don't know. Nah. 
No. Wait. Let's say I come back to the train. Yes, hello, Artyom. Perhaps you can find out. Found my daughter yet? No! What are you doing here then? Shit! Find I'm sorry! The mirror itself should be I have a present for you here. Eighty hour rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Oh, damn. I'll definitely take that. Where's this ish? Oh, that's a little airsoft gun. All right. Oh, I got all three. Oh my God. Worry, Katya. Our people will find her soon. All right. I gotta go back over there. I hope no one else finds her first. Fuck. <laughs> hey, now I gotta go back over there. I don't know if it. It's right here. Put that pump thing out, yeah. Is that what it's saying? I think I gotta go to the Say pump it again. No more ammo for this. I at least need my throwing knife. Who had it? Fuck.
I think this is it. I think I can't mess with that right now. <gasps> oh shit! <sighs> Baby! What are you Yana, doing down here? I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you. Be quiet, baby. Be quiet. <coughs> Bitch, I'll call you. You gonna get us caught, baby? I got you. Lighter, lighter. All right. It's about to get real busy. Pretty blue ones. What is this? I don't know. Oh, let's make some of them bullets, them pressurized bullets. Steel balls. Alright, come pretty good. Alright, keep moving. Ugh. Can I just. Oh, yeah. Baby, I'm gonna try to get us out of here. Shit, alright, I got a minute. through oh shit hopefully I can pick all those up kind of wasted them got two oh yes nice nice awesome that's so awesome that makes me so less stressed. Shit. Oh, there's two of them.
Oh, that's awesome. Oh shit! Got one. Hit him. Jesus. These little t 15 millimeter little BBs. They're gonna work wonders. How much? How many seconds we got? 46. All right. Grab it. All right. Whatever. 30 seconds. Shit. I need to work on that aim. I wonder what this help. Bang. You seen that? Just got to make sure we get back to him. Go, go, go. Not bad. Not bad. Sorry, it's dark. I ain't trying to get caught up. I don't know where he's at. You didn't hear that. Gotcha. Oh shit. Alright, I think that's it, everybody. Alright, let's try to get out of here now. Oh, dog. Oh, I didn't even see that.
So the lights are on now. No. Ah. Yeah. Oh man. Pick up the knife. Oh man. I think he's dumb. Oh my goodness. That thing is broke. Trying to use the gun as least as possible. <laughs> Dang. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. I found you, baby. I always find you. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way Yeah, that's hell. it. I can... I can walk just fine. Oh, you can't, girly. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. <laughs> Stepan, persuade my father. Already about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. All right, bye, hun. Give me a kiss. Yum, I am feeling better mwah, now. Mwah. Really, I am. Better. So, Sam, tell me what the real enemy bases look like, so that we know when when we see it. Well, first of all, there are these huge humanoid robots. All humanoid robots. Stars and stripes with nuclear reactors up their asses. I said that. I'm being serious. <laughs> what the hell? Let me be serious too. How the hell am I supposed to know how they walk out? I haven't seen one in the morning for years or so. Oh, wow. Yeah, y'all go that way. Hmm. 
Hmm. Run. I launched that bitch somewhere. We good. We're back. Hey, I'm back. Aren't you help us here? I, we, we have to go back now, I guess. No. Where, where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well, maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do... We don't know what dangers lie ahead, but still! And I told him I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle John, please, let us come. I will be good. I will have with everything. I will. Of course you can. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort you out. Hi, that's good work. All right, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom, see how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Awesome, awesome. What's up? Alright, bro. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traders' boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Stepan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Of course I will. Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's dark. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Oh, people Duke is or our monsters. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. 
Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Alright, y'all. I'm off. Great job persuading the old man. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. Right I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Wish me luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Somebody I'm has a crush. Are you going on a mission? Yes, I am, little girl. I just wanted to ask, there, where the big tanks are, if you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? Of course I can. A demon took him, a flying one. It was scary. They live there. It took Teddy to his children. <sighs> I miss Teddy so much. I'll keep an eye out, I promise. I wanted to go visit him, but Mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. Right. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too. A bit. <laughs> Alright, bye. Damn, we gotta walk all the way down there. Teddy, and then the fucking... Dang. Alright.